What's up Team Shatterproof? Welcome back to the cave. Today we're talking about your arrow going side to side in flight and driving you crazy because one time it hits here, the next time it hits there. Let's make this arrow fly true. Simply, let's get to the point. Here's the deal. The dude behind the camera is my younger brother and he's been shooting traditional archery for like two years and he has not hardly ever tuned arrows on a traditional bow. So he decided to figure it out. Arrow spine's the worst. Why does everyone measure spine in the same way? ATA, AF, P, T. Some people that measure carbon to carbon, just the arrow shaft itself, end of the knot to the end of the carbon, throat of the knot to the carbon, your peak weight, and then you gotta choose your Here's the problem. He's a smart dude, but that's his problem. He's thinking too much. So today, we're gonna help Kaz tune the arrows simply, and hopefully you too. Three steps to arrow tuning. Step one, the arrow. The first thing is to find an arrow. Now, if you already have an arrow, we'll jump right into it. If you're looking to order arrows, how to order the correct one, I prefer a spine chart or a spine calculator, and it's best if you can find it from the company you're buying the arrows from. That'll get you the most accurate results. That's generally just gonna have you put in your arrow length and your front weight that you want to have. But this is just a starting point. Quick tip on that, though, is order full-length arrows, and if you're between spines, order a little bit of a weaker spine. It's easier to harden or stiffen the spine than it is to weaken it because to stiffen the spine, you can cut the arrow, but you can't add length on. We'll get into that later. Step two, the problem. Now that you've got your arrow, it's time to find the problem. Do you have a knock left or do you have a knock right? And this can be found in many different ways. Paper tuning's way, bear shaft tuning's way. There's a bunch of ways you can do this, but here is the simplest and easiest way, I think. So the mosquitoes are killing us, but I'm gonna give a quick example of how easy this is. So I'm literally gonna go to slow motion on my phone. You can prop this up behind you if you have a friend or somebody to film, let them film you. Go ahead and shoot one here, Kaz. I'm just gonna slow-mo footage right above the head is perfect, like that. Okay, we're gonna stop that, and you can literally tune your arrows this quick. Play it back, you can see that right there, knock left, and I'll play that on the big screen. That's literally how simple and how quick it is to tune your arrows. Step three, the fix. We've got our arrow, we've got our problem, now it's time to fix the problem. There's two easy ways to fix a problem and a third way I'll give to you guys for bowyers later on. But we're gonna cover these two easy ways now. First, we wanna start with the least intrusive way. So that's going to be to change your point weight or your front weight. Now the front weight doesn't just have to be changed by the field point or whatever you're shooting. It can also be changed by inserts or insert sleeves as well. So if you wanna keep the same field point, you can still change the front weight or if you wanna keep the same broadhead, you can still change the front weight by changing the inserts or add an insert sleeve or anything like that. And then the second least intrusive way is to cut your arrow. And that's why you wanna order a full length arrow so you have more room to cut it to adjust your weight. So with those two solutions, we're gonna be able to fix our knock left or our knock right. So first, like with Kaz's shot in that video, we had a knock left. What does knock left mean? Knock left means a weak arrow. The arrow is bending too much, so we need to stiffen up the arrow. There's two ways to do that. The first way is you can just put on a lighter point. That's a really easy solution or a lighter insert, and that's gonna cause the arrow to not have to push as much weight, which will allow it to bend less and even back out. The second way to stiffen your spine is to cut your arrow down. I prefer to cut it down in quarter inch or less increments, and for my example here, I'm using a carbon arrow with glue and inserts, and I'm gonna use hot melt glue on my inserts. That way, if I need to adjust it, or when I need to adjust it, I'm gonna just heat up the tip of the arrow with a heat gun. That insert's gonna pop right out. Then if you wanna secure it tighter later on, you can, but that hot melt glue allows for easy adjustability, and slowly cut it down in quarter inch increments, shoot it in between every time you cut it, and as soon as it flies true, it flies true. Now, if your arrow is going right knock in the air, you see that in your slow motion, you now know that the arrow is too stiff, so you want to weaken up the arrow. So to weaken an arrow, well, you need a longer arrow, so that's 
impossible. So that's why you wanna order full length arrows originally. But the second solution is to add heavier tip weight. Now that's an easy solution because you can go super, super heavy on the tip weight. You can often fix too stiff of a spine if you don't mind raising your tip weight a lot. The downside to that is it will slow your arrow down quite a bit. And then finally, for the bowyers out there, a third solution you can do is change where your arrow rest is. The more center shot the arrow rest is, the stiffer arrow you're gonna need, the longer or further away your arrow rest is from center shot, you're gonna need an arrow with a weaker spine to bend more. So, for example, if your arrow is too stiff, you could cut your arrow shelf in even deeper to make it even weaker. Or, if your arrow is too weak, you could add padding, add leather, add something to push that arrow rest out and away, and that's gonna make your arrow weaker to go around the riser. And if you really, really wanna dial it in, once your arrow is shooting straight, shooting true, cut your fletchings off and then bear shaft tune it. You don't wanna bear shaft tune originally so that you don't break an arrow in the target because it's going in so sideways, but now that's going straight, you can bear shaft tune it, take the fletchings off, shoot it, and then correct any last adjustments you see refletch it and you'll have a great shooting arrow. And for your guys' convenience, we made this little chart here. That way you can screenshot this, take a photo of it, whatever you need. That way when you're in the field, if you want to, you can quickly reference this. So you can look at the chart and remember in the field, oh, I've got knocked left, it's a weak arrow, let's lighten the point. You can get a field point test kit. Uh, something like that's going to help you out in the field. But if you use that spine chart, spine calculator, those minor adjustments, it should work well for you. That's what I do personally, actually. Step four, go shoot your bow. Switch target here. Switch straight. <laughs> 